Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Greetings from Italy. It's a beautiful day out here. And I would like to start off by saying all praises, all honor to the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rukah Kadash. Salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the globe. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Um, today's topic is going to be coming back as a little child. So I wouldn't like to take much of your time. I just want to explain a few things about what that verse in the scriptures actually mean. Returning to God like a little child. So I'm going to start by reading from Matthew 18 verse Matthew 18 verse 3 okay which quotes now I'm going to start from 2 so we can understand better and Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them okay and said verily I say unto you except except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven Okay, what does that verse mean? It's logic that we can't we can't we can become little children after after being adults, you know. What that verse simply means is we have to unlearn everything that we think we know, all the wisdom we've gathered in the courses of our life, everything we think we know. We have to really unlearn most of those things and become like a little child who is willing to learn something new, okay? before we can make it into the kingdom of heaven. And why this? This because we have been taught lots of lies, okay? I'm going to say, um, me being a Christian before, right now I'm no longer a Christian. I don't belong, I don't belong to any religion, okay? I'm just studying the scriptures and following the commandments just like the scriptures is teaching, you know? Because the churches wouldn't teach you the right thing, you know? They wouldn't teach you the right thing. Most of these churches, um, they actually sign uh, a line sense, okay? A line sense, which is called 501 bracket C3. You can go Google it and search to learn more about it, okay? So this code actually is, um, your churches are pledging their allegiance to the Vatican. Okay, not to teach you the scriptures the way it meant to teach you the scriptures. Scriptures is not a religious book. It is a history book of a certain people. Okay. So, once you don't take the scriptures from this point of view, and you take it from the point of view like religion, the way the churches, they preached and they teach you, you're actually going to be lost. Okay. And they're going to make you even worship the false, the false, the antichrist himself, the false prophet that you don't want to worship. So, and why should we, why should we, why should we, why do we have to, like most of you could ask and start being like, yeah, but Heavenly Father understands and knows my heart and knows, he knows I'm praying to the right person. Um, the person that is teaching me lies is who's going, to, um, my, my causes are going to be upon that person. But it's not like that really, because the scriptures itself is telling us to go and, you know, dig the scriptures study for ourselves and learn okay let me just that's going to take me to it's going to take me to the book of timothy okay second timothy the book of second timothy that's chapter 2 verse 15 okay which quotes study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth okay the scriptures right there is telling us to to study to show ourselves that proved okay why is the scriptures telling us to go and study to show ourselves approved before god himself because we have to use our brains and go study these things by ourselves you can't just sit back and let people teach you what they feel is the right thing about the scriptures because these days everyone just take the bible and translate it to their own to their own way of life and be like okay this is what it is and i'll just take it like that 
So you should know that most of these preachers, most of these pastors, you know, these churches that you go, they're never going to teach you the truth because they all signed their allegiance to the Vatican. I told you, it's a code 501 bracket, bracket C3. Go check it out on Google and go deep into it. You see, they've actually all been paid not to tell you the truth, okay? That's why you definitely have to go seek by yourself. For example, okay, at the beginning of the video, I made mention of all praises to the Almighty, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem Ruka Kadash. To most of y'all, this is going to sound really strange because you never, most of y'all probably haven't heard about this and some people will be like, what is it speaking about? What is it saying? Okay, so that's actually the name of the Most High and His only begotten Son. Okay, not Jesus. Jesus is a wrong translation. Because first, the Bible was written in Paleo-Hebrew and what you just heard me speak was Paleo-Hebrew. Okay, so Yahweh is the name of the Most High. But Hashem that you heard is in the name of His only begotten, in the name of His only begotten, who is Yahweh Shai. That is Paleo-Hebrew, that's the real name, not Jesus, not Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm telling you all this because, you know, most of us, just like the scriptures tell us, you know, on that day, we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be amazed because, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to tell you, go your way, worker of iniquity, I never knew you. And most of you are going to be like, oh, but I prayed, I did miracles in your name, I preached in your name or whatever, everything. It's going to be like, no, go your way. I never knew you, walker of iniquity. And most of you all might be saying, um, yeah, he knows my heart. He knows my heart. He knows everything about me. He knows my heart just like I read to you in that verse. In 2 Timothy 2, 15 says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Okay, study to, study to show thyself approved unto God. Don't just sit back, relax, and let people feed you with cock and bull stories, okay? It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your salvation, okay? Because most of you, you trust your pastors so much, you trust your churches so much that you think they would never, they would never, they would never lead you astray. They will never teach you the wrong thing. Man, you need to, you need to, you need to reset your brain, really, because I'm going to read another scripture to you, another precept, okay, which is found in the book of Ephesians, okay, the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2, okay, there we go, no, Ephesians 6, 12, sorry, which quotes, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm, that is deep. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. <laughs> we wrestle against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickednesses wickedness in high places this verse itself explains everything to you you know you can't just trust that man teaching you all that cock and bull story telling you to pray to jesus pray to jesus yo if you go check the roots the roots the meaning of jesus and you find out what it means yeah you'll be amazed you're worshiping the wrong day the, 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 the wrong son you know you 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 you're you worshiping the wrong person you know Anyway, Jesus, if you trace it back, it takes you back to Jesus, which is in its Greek version. And it's actually, you're praying to Zeus, actually, you know. So you see, these people, they try to take the word of God and turn it around and make it something else. Make you worship the wrong, the wrong, the wrong God. And, you know... You're going to have yourself to blame if you don't change your mentality because most of you, you're, you you've been programmed to the to the extent of your minds are already hostile to the truth. Once someone tells you the truth, your mind goes against the truth directly. You've been programmed like that. You better stop feasting on those 
dirty things that's turning your brain around and making you hostile to the truth. Obey the commandments that are written in the scriptures. And if you read from Deuteronomy, if you, if you go through the, the commandments, you're going to notice that these commandments are given from generation to generation. Not like your, your preachers are teaching you, no, these commandments are done away with. Yeah, I can eat pea, I can eat shrimps, I can eat this one, this one, that one. Man, you're committing sin upon sin. Hmm? And don't be caught unaware. So, well, everyone now, everyone is scared about the coronavirus, you know. Everyone is on the lockdown. This is my city here in Italy. And you can barely even see someone just going out. There is nobody, there is absolutely no one outside. And you're going to hear a, a Christian pastors preaching to you, telling, pray, 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 so the coronavirus can be over. Pray so we can return to our normal lives. But yo, stop praying against the word of the word of God. <laughs> Remember, you have to pray so His kingdom should come. This kingdom we live in right now is messed up. Trust me, it's messed up. This is a messed up kingdom. And if you still want to. Be a part of it, man. Good luck to you, you know. But we all have to pray so his kingdom comes, you know, so salvation comes. And the scriptures is telling us once you start saying these things, you know, once you start saying this pestilence all around places, we've, we've heard of different earthquakes, rumors of wars, we've seen rivers torn blood, okay. We've seen, we've seen, we've seen places infested by by locusts and grasshoppers, you know, eating down crops, you know. So you should start knowing that salvation is near, okay? We close, we close to salvation and the Mashiach is coming. The Hamashiach is coming. His name is not Jesus like they teach you. His name is Yahweh Shai, okay? I sent, I sent a message to a friend yesterday. I was just discussing to a friend, you know, like I told him this name and it was like, oh, that sounds Japanese. And I just left. You know, this is what it is. Our brains, our minds are being trained to be hostile to the truth. Okay. I had to go back, learn a couple of things. I actually had to like humble myself really and learn everything I thought I knew to start understanding this truth. And there is a lot more I'll be teaching you as time goes on. I don't want to keep this video long. It's my first video. I am pushed. I am compelled by the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, to come out this day and, you know, send this message through to, to all of my friends, all of the people that I know, you know. Stop worshipping the, the, false, the false God. Stop worshipping the false God and come out of Babylon. Come out of your churches. Your churches are not going to lead you to salvation. Come out of those churches. Come out of religion. I don't care what religion you're into. Come out of everything, man. And start doing things the way you meant to do. Okay. Start doing things the way you meant to do. The commandments are there to be followed. They were never done away with. If Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, you would follow my commandments. You know? So... With this said, I'm going to I'm going to end up this video, and next time I'm going to explain a little more. So remember, for you to understand this truth, you have to come back like a little child, humble yourself, and you can throw into the trash can all that bunch, all that junk of knowledge you think you know, just throw it into the trash can and get ready to learn the truth, you know. Yo, sleeping sons of Jacob, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake the freak up, really. Wake up. Shalom. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And I would like to say, all glory, all honor, all praises and thanks to the Most High. Kala la hayam la, Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Kala la, Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Kala la, Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Bye.